Hi everybody. In this tutorial today we will work on JavaScript object. Okay. So without wasting our time, wasting our time, let's open our Visual Studio code. As you guys know, in this series of JavaScript, I I was describing the basic features of JavaScript. And comparatively, it will be effective for those people who are lifting and shifting from uh, C or C++ or uh, uh, want to learn some new phenomena. Okay, let me remove my previous lessons. Okay, as you know, in uh, this index.javascript, I integrated with index.html, and in this index.js, I will write all my codes to explain. So today's my topic is. Uh, javascript javascript object so actually what is object if you uh, read out c and c++ class and objects and practice over them you will see class uh, is like is a defined data types suppose and uh, objects is one attribute of them uh, one uh, subject of them and we can use all the uh, functions constructors and properties uh, in a particular object okay in javascript also suppose you want to have student details student details okay then you have to create variable suppose name let me explain it using a um, example okay Suppose you have to uh, you, you want to uh, store student details, then you have to define or create variable name, role, subject. Suppose I am taking these three only for my example, and then you have to put the value name is equal to Ashish. Okay, suppose. And the role is equal to three, and subject is equal to English. Suppose let me give a double quotation English. These are the details of a student, okay. And if you want to create another student details, then you have to copy all the things, and it's a tedious process if you see and it's not the efficient way to do to store uh, data in a program okay roll one and it is also roll one or roll two etc etc okay you have to define yeah, you have to create different variables for storing different uh, person different student details okay this is a long process and actually the programmers doesn't follow these rules Okay, and then if you want to access this data, you have to write the document dot name one document dot write wr okay write name one as you know it's like a um, variable. Then let's see what happened. You save this, and if I run this in live server obviously i will find my name okay or as you know i can show this out uh, in output in my console log using the do, not document dot write console dot log okay and the same process name if i want to get the first name and control save and if i go there nothing will happen here and if i go on inspect and in console obviously i should have the name ashish okay so this is how we can have the access of uh, student details but here we will introduce the new phenomena interesting phenomena of object okay so how to create an object to create an object you have to first use variable and uh, generally we use first letter as um, capital letter student is student okay and then a curly braces 
and then you can use all the things here okay name is equal to ashish comma role is equal to two comma uh, then what subject subject is equal to english okay so obviously this is a object a student object okay and then you can also in this details on uh, uh, on our document just in this way std dot name okay and then if i save this if i go on my server so let me check this this don't showing anything std dot name control save 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 let me check out it's not showing anything okay i think i had to use there not is equal to have to use clone okay i have to use clone <coughs> and if i save this and if i go on my document as you can see i am having this name so this is how we can create a object let me check my video is going or not okay this recording as you can see this is my object this is how we can store the uh, lots of information a little bit easily rather than defining all the variables suppose and if i again store one more data i have to just copy this and i have to paste this and i have to make it a student one or a student two okay i have to change this name or etc okay so this is how we can create object and then one another important thing regarding related to object we will see today this is called constructor so what constructor okay so what is constructor you will see uh, constructor we will we have to define is quite similar like um hub std and we have to use first bracket and then Mm, curly bracket and we have to push here some argument in as like as function this is called name role and subject and we have to give a divide, uh, define this this dot name is equal to name okay and this dot role sorry role is equal to role and this dot subject is equal to subject okay and now this is my constructor and if i if I want to store my um, information, S1 is equal to new std. Okay. And in between this std, I have to put the name called Ashish and role 2 and subject is English okay english and this is how we we have created another object or another details and if we want to create another details of another student we have to just paste this i have to make this to an ashish hobby role here solve the chemistry okay chemistry chemistry and now i have to of the chair how we could check how we can access this object just using document dot write 
document.ry and std.s1.just.s1.name and let's see what happens if I save this if I go on my document I'm not having anything so why uh, s1 dot name and let me check out actually let me check my video is going on or not or it is recording actually i have to use i am not var this is no constructor so i have to use function okay and i think this should work and if i save this as you can see i am having this name ashish and if i change this s2 easily i could have the next object first name so this is how we can create object and we can save student details and we can use constructor so i think this is enough for today in the next tutorial we will see some new features of the script and uh, thank you for uh, thank you for stay with me assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh